How many videos do I have of, in this gray shirt? <laughs> it's just a neutral color and I like it. So, uh, this question has been asked quite a few times. God, I'm running out of things to talk about, guys. Uh, you like your family, how your family reacts. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, when you're 17 or 16 or something like that. It's quite obvious how most families are going to react in those situations. They're going to be concerned. And the reason they're going to be concerned is because they don't want you making impulsive decisions with your soul, especially if they're uh, very spiritual people themselves. Not that anything's going to happen to you, uh, but they're just being parents and they don't want you getting involved in anything if they don't understand it. It doesn't really matter what it is, especially if there's a stigma behind it. It's only logical. And it's only logical for you to be upset as a child and think that they don't understand, you know. So anyway, but the, the, the video is not about, it's not about that. This is about people that are of age, and you you didn't plan this, but this just so happens to now be your life, your lifestyle, your your chosen path, your your spirituality, religion, whatever you want to call it. This is you now, and even if you had the choice, you could move backwards. Even if you wanted to, you've learned so many things, you've experienced so many different situations that you never thought you would. You've got so much more knowledge now than you thought you ever could have. And knowledge about things you didn't think you were ever going to know about or ever could know about. And even if they're not true to other people, they're true to you and it makes you a better person. So why would you move backwards? But an outsider won't understand that. They won't understand that you found truth in something that won't make sense to other people. So, we have conflict. And the question was always, how do I get them to understand? Well, just, they're going to have to either understand it or not. They, You can't or you shouldn't force someone into your belief system. It's not their path to travel unless they're ready. And if they're ready, it'll come calling to them, which we do notice happens from time to time. It's like forcing anybody to do anything. It's, it's, if it's not their time and it's not their interest, then you can't expect them to get it, you know? It's just going to be something for you. And you're going to have to be okay with that. And it's perfectly logical, I've done it myself, for you to be so into something and you want everybody else around you to be into it too so that everybody can have a grand old time and be into the same thing. But it's just not the way the world works. Just because you're into fixing motorcycles doesn't mean that your best friend is into fixing motorcycles. Your best friend is into making clay bowls. How are you two going to meet in the middle? Well, you have other interests in common. And yeah, you might have opposing views, but that doesn't mean that you should fight over it. This is a situation kind of like puberty for a lot of people that you just kind of go through. You don't choose it. There's no real definitive formula for you to understand necessarily I and mean, everybody's situation is going to be individual so just that process in itself is hard enough to understand much less make somebody else understand it's unexplainable to other people like you you, you can't get them to get it so how do I get my boyfriend? How do I get my wife? How do I get my, you know, mother, my father? How do I get so-and-so to, to accept it? Lead by example. Show them that there's nothing wrong with it. Show them that 
it's making you a better person now you have to lead by example i mean if you want to earn gold points you have to show them that this is beneficial to you otherwise um otherwise they're just going to see it as a waste of time and resources and a waste of your life and you can either take that route or you can take the route of just stop explaining yourself and just some people have to keep it private and some people just don't talk about it it's hidden and initially you know that's how a lot of these things started hidden likely because of prosecution but in this case it's kind of to keep the peace do they really have to know not really I mean is it a problem because you're making it a problem? A lot of times that's the situation. A lot of times you're you're happy that this promise came through or you're you're excited because it's a new thing for you. For some people this is just even like a new temporary project, I hate to admit. But for whatever reason you want to share it with another individual. And you're probably not going to get good feedback unless you know for a fact that that individual is going to be into it. So, is there a way around this? The only way that I can think of is to sugarcoat it. And you probably shouldn't. So, I'll use my family for example. My mom is a very Catholic woman. My family is very, well, I mean, not very, but they're pretty... They're, they're, they're churchgoers, you know, and half are, half aren't. But nonetheless, none of them would be into what I'm into. And for the most part, they just kind of keep quiet or they don't care or they don't agree with it. Some of them, I, you know, believe I'm going to hell. And some of them try to understand and... There are a few that are okay with it. You know, it's kind of like the okay slash I don't really care. Just not really interested. Don't want to talk about it. That's your thing. Just let's talk about something else kind of thing. You know, and there's a few that have a more universal view, which I appreciate. But do I want to convert any of them? No. Not at all. Because I would hate it if they did that to me. My path is not theirs. And the way I see it, there's always going to be one in the family, you know? And it should be no surprise to them at all. Because they knew me growing up. They saw my habits. They saw my upbringing. You know, the, the, it was going to be one of us. So, um, I mean, and my only chief complaint would be the ones that do ridicule me behind my back, you know, and it's, and it's not only, you know, it, it's going to be everybody, even I've lost friends over it, you know, and which I don't understand why, but I mean, I do understand why, but they never really gave me a chance. If they wanted to give me a chance, they'd see that I'm doing more harm. I mean, more, I'm sorry. I just kicked myself there that I'm doing more good than harm, but, um, you know, good I'd have to say good riddance because is a true friend one that's gonna stick by you yes is a fair weather friend somebody that's gonna leave when they disagree with one thing yes so those are not real friends of course you know the obvious affiliations um, that the media portrays yeah I can't deny it Sure, but there's just as many affiliations with the church, if not more so. But, uh, you know, that's neither here nor there. But yeah, it, this is a difficult thing that, that we have to deal with. And it's not going to be easy. And you know what you're getting into. You know. Because everybody knows by now. Everybody knows what's what the affiliations are. Everybody knows what the stigmas are. And... You know, they they choose to see the more dramatic thing rather than the billions of other people that have been helped and that have been guided and that have 
a better and more promising life now than they did before. And that this change in their life came from a saint of death. <laughs> you know? And it's just so hard for people to wrap their heads around. Uh, it was hard for me to wrap my head around until I experienced it. And that's why I know that the people that condemn people like us, who are just your people, who are just your average person trying to make it through, who is your average person just trying to, to survive for their family, for themselves, and just be good people in general, like, you have to know that not everybody's going to see that. And you have to know that a lot of us have a past and we made mistakes just like they did. And you have to know that they're going to see those mistakes first. So no matter what, even within our own community, we're going to be judged, unfortunately. And it's a sad truth. Some of us deserve that judgment, some of us don't. But in the end, whatever we're doing, what matters is that we're trying to do it to become better people. So that's the root of pretty much everything. Yeah, so that's how I approach people that oppose my viewpoint and people that get freaked out and um, family and friends that judge me and uh, people that think they're, they're better than me because of their spiritual viewpoints. That's how I handle it. I pretty much just kind of, as they say, turn the other cheek because the truth is that it's either one, it's not their time to understand, or two, they're never going to. Acceptance is big here. Acceptance is a big part of all of this. So I'll talk to you later. Have a good day.